It's just a dog walking himself right now. I gotta get the puppy. I'm gonna get it. What the heck is going on right now? Is that like a, is that a, is that like a missing dog alert or something? I found a missing dog. Here we go. Good morning. Here's another day. Same outfit as usual. How you guys doing today? How you guys doing today? Another day, another dollar, supposedly. 7.30 in the morning, just about. Gotta make a few stops. You know, 12 to 15, that's like my quota. That's basically what I try to hit in the eight hours that I work. If I do that, feels like a good day. Feels like I accomplished a lot. Let's get on with my day. Gotta do a few things in the morning and then grab some breakfast and head out the door. Bed made. Fish fed. On the road, I got my breakfast as usual. However, I'm out of apples today, so all we got is a nice little protein shake. I think I'm going to stop at some breakfast place, you know, around like 10 in the morning after I hit a few stops just to get something in my belly, you know? And then after that, I'm gonna continue with my stops for the rest of the day until lunch, and then finish out the rest of my stops until around four. That's the plan for today. We'll see what we're doing afterwards. I just got to my first stop, finished my protein shake, and it's ready to hit the day. Let's get the round, it's a, let's hit the ground running and get sales today, you know what I mean? And this is my first stop right here. Oh, there it is. You can see it, it's a trailer. So this is a big trailer company. We'll see what we can get. I already got them a whole quote sheet. Uh, this company, it doesn't feel like they're gonna do much. They just, they, they just seem like they don't, they don't, they don't move too much, if you know what I mean. What I'm trying to say is their trailers kind of have been sitting in the back and it doesn't look like many of them have been moving. So people aren't renting them out. That's what they do. They rent out these trailers, but it looks like a lot of them are just kind of stagnant and just sitting around. I don't think they're going to buy too, too much. If anything, I gave them a credit app like a few weeks back. They still haven't gotten it back to us. I'm trying to get that in, but we'll see what happens. So, hit a few stops this morning, you know, um, I'm stopping for a little bit of breakfast. I'll probably just take about 10, 15 minutes for breakfast. And while I'm eating my breakfast, I'm gonna write my notes as usual, get ready for the day. So I have a whole list of stops to hit for the rest of the day. Also, as you can probably tell, it's uh, starting to rain a little bit. It's only a drizzle right now. I'm not sure how much more it'll rain. Like, I'm not in charge of the weather, but we'll see what happens. I'm kind of hoping it storms up because I kind of love I love a lot of rain. I don't know what it is. When it rains, I just, I like to be in the rain. God, one thing I love to do when it rains in particular is go swimming. Don't ask why, I just love the feeling of swimming during the rain. It's a wonderful feeling. I am back in my car. Enjoyed a nice little breakfast. We had a sausage, egg, and cheese on an acai, on an Asiago bagel. Asiago, that's a hard word to say. Asiago bagels, those things are delicious, I have to say. So I did that, got my notes ready. I put about 15 stops on the list today. Try to hit all of them, you know. Let's see if we can manage that. Probably can. And on top of that, you know what I got. Got my free sips. Oh my God, that's so caffeinated, it's unreal. That's about all. I gotta hit my stops and I'll get back to you. Currently on the road, driving towards Copeg, and I thought of this wonderful idea that I'm gonna start implementing. Basically what I do is I go different town to town all over the island. So from now on, what I'm gonna do is, when I'm in a new town, I'm gonna film the scenery, stuff in that town, and take you along on my journey from town to town, and see the beauty of each town, what's nice, what's not, food places, this and that, and just film every single place that I go to, every single town, and then it'll give us a whole whole description of Long Island, basically, so to speak. And then we get to see all the cool things on Long Island, all in a video. Yeah, this will be awesome. This will be a cool, cool idea, cool concept. With this, with this new concept that I just came up with, I think I'm going to start that in tomorrow's video, simply because I'm more than halfway through my day right now, and Today, I've already, I already have a small plan for what I'm doing today. I'm trying to branch off of that same routine and start to find new things here and there. Speaking of new things to do, I know that Jules, uh, my friend from the barbecue, said she has something planned for us on Friday. 
I'm not 100% sure. She said it's uh, Friday night, so around 7, 8 p.m. I'll find out what the surprise is. That's gonna be a fun day. Can't wait. Just a dog walking himself right now. I gotta get the puppy. I'm gonna get it. Be right back. Be yeah, found. Hey, baby, let me get you home. Let me get you home. I'm gonna get this puppy home real quick. Hey, Roxy. But uh, no response yet. So I'm gonna try to find her owner's house. There's no address on here. I mean, hello puppy. I guess I'll just put her in my car for now and we'll figure out what to do with her. I'm gonna keep calling the owners and hopefully they answer sooner or later. This is a first for me, but I got a, I got a puppy. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'll let you know. Hey, good news. I just got in touch with the owner. I have this cute little baby right here. Hey Roxy. I gotta hold her on the leash, otherwise she's gonna run. Anyway, I got in touch with the owner. He says he's not even from Long Island, which is crazy. I don't know if he's on the island, but he says his daughter is, and this is his daughter's dog right now. Um, so he's getting in touch with his daughter and his wife, and he's gonna give me a call back, and we're gonna figure out what to do with her. I'll probably end up dropping her off where she needs to go. It's an adventure, puppy! It's also raining outside, so this is great, too. Hi, it's a good puppy. I'm just letting her roam around, you know? As long as she doesn't get in the main road over here, we're good. But uh, if she gets close, I basically just hold her back. We're going on a walk, puppy. Hey, don't you run. I'm gonna put her in my car so she's safe and doesn't run around because she just almost got a little loose. I'm waiting for a phone call so I, I can't be recording, otherwise I don't know if the phone call will go through. We'll, we'll get her taken care of today. We're gonna get you home, baby. I made a makeshift leash with my uh, car keys tied it on so now we're gonna go on a little walk the owner said they're about a half hour away so i'm gonna wait 30 minutes i'm gonna take this dog on a nice 30 minute walk i'm sure i'm sure she'll enjoy that and then uh, in 30 minutes i'll come back to this exact spot and get on with my day oh poopies i don't have any bags it was only pee it was only pee Is that, a, is that like a missing dog alert or something? I found a missing dog. Only in Copag. When you walk with Roxy, you own the road. We're just chilling in the middle of the street right now. No cars coming in front of us, no cars coming behind us, so why not, you know? Let her enjoy her, her 10 minutes of freedom. I'm enjoying my freedom too. We got the dog to the owners. They were a very nice family. Basically what I heard happened is they had a hole in their screen and the dog must have jumped out the window. That's a scary way to lose a dog. Imagine you get home and your dog's not home. That must have, that would be terrifying, honestly. They weren't home. They were about a half hour away. Their house was about a five minute walk, 10 minute walk from where I found Roxy. All in all, you know, successful day. We found a dog. I'll take that as a win every single day. I got Panera bread, again, obviously, because why not when you get free unlimited sips, you know what I mean? I got the broccoli cheddar bowl in, in a bread bowl, and I'm bringing it to my friend's house. So she's gonna be extremely surprised. She does not know I'm doing this, but she said she's in the mood for some broccoli cheddar soup. I just gave her a ring. I, I called her up real quick, and I told her, uh, I asked if I could stop by to take up real quick, and she's like, yeah, just come in, you know, stop in. Take your poop. So that's what I'm gonna pretend to do. I'm gonna stop in and I'm gonna be like, surprise, it's not a poop. You're gonna have to poop. Oh, I still have to poop. That's besides the point. Uh, she's gonna be excited. Let's get her reaction. I also got a uh, free sip, obviously. So I got uh, the green tea because that's her favorite. Let's see if she likes it. All right, as we pull up to the house, I know for a fact she's in that little side room right here, but that's the door, it's open up. We're gonna sneak in there and we're gonna say surprise. Something like that. Got the food in hand, as best I can with one hand. Let's see how she reacts. Where's mine? I'm here to poop. Hey! hey. <laughs> My food! I just finished work. Off that radio. So I just finished work, and now I'm thinking it's time for a car wash. My car is completely filthy. Well, if you look at there, and the floor right there. I already cleaned out everything that's in here. So like this and stuff, the cup holders. So now it'll make it easy for them. I cleaned out the trunk. Um, so I stopped home before that, cleaned out my car, made sure everything that's out is out. And now they can do a great job on the interior. The exterior gets cleaned by the car wash, obviously. Uh, let's see how my car comes out. 
This is everything we cleaned out that was in my car. Can't wait to organize this. We got my workout gear there. We got some hats there, the cooler, and also my golf bag is over there. That motorcycle is not in my car. That's my golf bag. I have arrived at the car wash. It looks pretty, pretty fun in there. Whoa. Check it out. Here we go. Look at all that soap. Look at that thing. Just clean my car. Oh. oh my goodness. I can't see anything. It's foaming. It's foaming on my car. Beep, 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 beep. And now we wait. Here's my baby getting cleaned. Currently driving home from the car wash. They did a relatively okay job. I mean, all in all, I'm not too, too happy. I played, uh, I bought the like premium top of the line package so they'd get everything complete. There's this dirt stain that I showed you earlier and they didn't even clean that up right over there. So can't wait to look at this when I get home and really investigate it. But so far I'm not, not too happy. Another thing is I popped my trunk and they didn't even clean out the trunk. I know that because my trunk right here still says it's popped. And that basically means that they didn't open it and close it again. So we could look at the pros, we could look at the cons. The pros, my car is way cleaner than it was. The cons, they missed some dirt spots over here and on my seat and they didn't even do the trunk. Uh, satisfactory level out of a 10, I would say it's about a seven. That's a fair assessment, I would say. I just arrived home and check out the little baby. She's excited. She's ready for some food. She's definitely a happy camper right now, munching on the food. Hi, baby. We're past the car wash now, and my dad went golfing today. Good for him, except it was raining while he was playing, and you, you can't really play golf while it's raining, you know? The ground's wet, the ball doesn't travel as far, a whole bunch of things. What do you want? Did she just talk? I already fed her, so we're good on that. What else is there to do today? I think I am going to edit all the videos. We are probably going to read tonight. I have a book called, please hold, called The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. It's a great book. I'm about halfway through now. Been reading it for about a month or two, give or take. I don't read every single night. I read about 15 minutes to an hour every other night. So I'll probably do that tonight. I'll eat some food. I'll maybe work out today. My legs are extremely sore from that workout yesterday. Whew. It was a leg burner for sure. And if we come and check out my board, all it says is backwards, but it says, check out Me Plus, which is the app I've told you about in the past. I think all that's on the app is basically coding, reading, and working out today. That is the plan, unless something fun comes up. Right now, I have my book, The 48 Laws of Power. We have a coconut water, and underneath all it all, my laptop. So basically, I can get everything done I need right here. We got reading, coding, developing, hydration, and nutrients. I'm chilling with my other fishy right here. This is the Squishmallow named Magnolia. Reading, coding, sleep. See y'all tomorrow.